Oh, one, two, three, it's time for Tidbit, Tidbit Tuesday. Hello and welcome to Tidbit Tuesday. I am Josh. I'm Ashley. And we have been traveling for an entire year straight. And you know, a lot of people, experts in the travel industry, ourselves included, have many different uh, theories and guides on how to pack your bags the most efficient way, how to fit the most in there, yeah. how to save room, how to save space. But all that's BS. Because when you're traveling for a year, Bags happen. Yeah. <laughs> I think that like over three years we have gained knowledge in what we actually need and how to pack. Although every time I try to pack my bag, I seem to have a hard time and it packs differently. Sometimes my bag is easy to pack and it's the same stuff and sometimes it's really hard to pack. I don't get it. What you see in front of you is everything that we have to live for a year abroad, traveling multiple different countries, different climates, uh, different weather in general. Um, in fact, if you sign up for our weekly mailing list, I have a free guide on how to pack your bags for a year. Um, it's, it's not complete BS, obviously, because I think it's super useful and it's some of the information that we use to pack our bags. Yeah. So I thought it'd be interesting to share with you guys what's the reality of living out of a bag for a year, what's in our bags, and what the heck do they look like. So, so this is not a packing video, this is more an unpacking video. This is yeah, it's an unpacking <laughs> video. It's we're exposing ourselves. I think uh, let's start with let's start with the carry-ons just because we'll get them off the table. Okay. All right. Well, when I go on the plane, I wore my scarf and my rain jacket and my leather jacket. I'm normally freezing on flights, so that's why I had so many warm clothes. Um, um, my general theory with my carry-on bag, this by the way is limited edition merch that you can no longer buy, therefore limited edition. Um, I, I generally keep my things I need and or expensive irreplaceable items on me at all times. So here I have several items in my carry-on. That's the majority of it. This is my drone. It's got um, extra batteries, charger, different things. Most drones you can't put in the hold anyways because of the size of the batteries. Um, plus, I don't want it lost or stolen, so therefore it goes with me on the carry-on. Yeah. Um, when I do carry-ons, normally I either have only this bag or these recent flights, Laptop. I have two bags. So I um, have this little bag that I can put underneath my seat or keep on my lap, and it literally has everything that I want to use on the flight. like my kindle or my passport um and then it also has my camera to keep it safe and um my charging cable if possibly they have a usb port but my camera i don't want that's a coin <laughs> i don't want to put my camera in my check bag or this bag because i would rather it be safe and sound with me i want to make i just want to make sure that the camera is actually pointing at us i realized that we started it without me looking my headphones are also hey. in this carry-on bag um in the front of front pocket of this i have what appears to be hand lotion um nail oil lip balm and an extra battery um, i also have in the back hidden pocket i have my passport and an eye mask and then in the actual bag itself i have my Toiletries bag. Where are all these coins coming from? And the dog keeps picking them up. Excuse me. I don't want her to just fall <laughs> No. Okay. Oh, geez. This Do you need that? Quite, quite the mess. <laughs> in my bag, in the front pocket, I have a small charging cable for my um, battery pack, um, which I would keep in here as well. It's in there somewhere. Um, I have gingers to help with my motion sickness. I have my credit cards and some money, a splitter. So if Josh and I want to both listen to podcasts. That's like the way of the dodo now with wireless headphones. We haven't used that in forever. Yeah, but I only get one headphone and you get one headphone. I guess you make it dodo because you have the... I got wireless player. headphones now. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then I, and in, in my carry-on, I also have sort of like a necessary electronics bag. Um, this oh. is like, I've got um, our converter, our converter, I've got extra batteries and a charger for the camera. Um, I have a lens cap, some cables that I need to hook up all that stuff. And um, I also carry some of my pens in here. I, I took them out earlier because I was writing a to-do list. Um, and then I have a light for filming when we're in dark areas. Which we don't use very often. We don't use it very often. 
Um, I have dirty underwear and socks, obviously, here because um, when we were flying, um, like for two days straight, sometimes we need extra clothes, and I needed extra clothes, so I put those clean clothes in here, and then when I swapped them out, I put my dirty ones in here, and now I need to clean those. All right, let's see what's in the rest of your carry on. Pens and oh, it's kind of slimy. Is and that, is that uh, right? Oops. Sunscreen. Uh, sunscreen in this pocket. All right. And then, like, this is just an extension of my big bag. Like, what I can't fit in here, I put in here, and um, this is more my carry-on to carry items I need while on the plane. Let's try and keep but it snappy. Sunglasses. Gotta get through this. I know. I told you this is gonna take forever. Don't. Gloves. Gum. Charging thing. Uh. Card games and chopsticks. chopsticks. We really don't need to show them absolutely everything. <laughs> so I have a lot of pockets in this. You do. So I as you can totally see, basically, do. I have all the electronics. Ashley has all the doodads. Yeah, like card games. What's? Can you just quickly go through like your main pocket and that sort of thing? Sure. My main pocket. I have extra room for gifts. To take back, which yeah. we did, Christmas We, we gifts. usually buy gifts like in the last location that we're at because we come home for Christmas. I do have all of our GoPro items. She is carrying the GoPro it's stuff. it's pretty heavy. This has a lot of GoPro stuff in it. And then um, I like to write everything down. So I have my binders and my pads of paper. This has like all of our schedule in it and everything mm -hmm. from last year and then my new one for this year. Um, this is my cord case, so it has all my cords in it, my cables, um, just to keep it all in one place. Notice that many things are in a secondary bag inside of a bigger bag to organize stuff. Yep, and then I like to carry on um, my poofy jacket. This is like the best purchase we made, I think, in our travels. These For sure, we use them all the time. Great. Um, it's easy to pack, jacket. yeah, when it's warm weather, but then, um, very warm when it's cold weather. These specific ones are from Uniqlo, but you can get comparable ones off of Amazon for 30 bucks. An eye mask, because that's important. We've been using these way more often. And that's all that's in my main pocket, other than my computer always goes in my main pocket. Yeah. And then you have just a, bu what, a bunch of random stuff, like there's a few toiletries. You have makeup wipes here, which I think also doubles as toilet paper for... I don't ever use it as toilet paper. No. The makeup wipes are just for my okay. face, and especially after um, we're on long flights. Okay. Um, and then I have all Patreon postcards in here, Which ready we, to go. We need to mail those. <laughs> that's on your to-do list for the day. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, that's pretty much that's okay. all. Okay, should I just push this day. out of the way or do you want it in, back in your bag for now? Well, well uh, how, do I have time to pack it all up again or what? Not pack it, I meant stuff it. Oh. I mean, all this stuff is going to be unpacked anyway, so let's just move it out of, out of the way here. Okay, so now we're on to the big bags. Um, we bought these bags specifically. Again, these are our Tom Bin bags. We've had them for three years now. We bought these specifically because they were just on the edge of carry-on size. Um, lately, we've been checking them because, well, we're honestly just getting tired of carrying them. And airlines, and mostly airlines, airlines don't allow it. And either. airlines have really, really tightened up restrictions. Sometimes we can carry them on still, sometimes not. Um, but they work as a carry-on as well as a check bag. So. These are our main bags. This mostly just carries carries clothes and a few other random stuff. So this is clothes for multiple climates and uh, all year. This is the main sleeve. I have receipts up in here. Our goal is to get roller bags by the end. We're of hoping so. The year. This uh, this is a small another small ancillary toiletries bag. I've got cologne in here. I also have a watch. Mm. Um. Deodorant, lotion. It's just <laughs> look at this. It's just stuffed in here at the end of the, at the end of the year. You just kind of like eh. It I all have goes a hard in there. time closing mine back up. Yeah. This is my new sweater from Nepal. Christmas sweater. Um, ex extra hard drives for backing up footage and photos and stuff. I generally put that in my carry on, but this time I just kind of risked it because I um I had a bunch of stuff stuffed in my carry on this time. After. After doing just a bunch of stuff, you always have dirty clothes, so that's mm -hmm. this. And dirty clothes do not pack as well, like when they're stuffed into a dirty clothes bag. Like it just takes up more room, whereas most of my other clothes I just roll and put into right. the little container things. Um, speaking of dirty clothes, I have a bunch stuffed into the top of my bag, so 
You don't use your little dirty clothes? I anything? do, but in this case I didn't. Again, the truth of what's really in our bags. <laughs> Unfiltered way away hat. Um, this, this handheld tripod for the camera that we're recording on. Which usually you have in your hand. I usually have that on my hand. It. But this is my toiletries bag. This has all my bathroom stuff in it and it hangs up. Way way sweatshirt. I've been using this all year long. It has little flamingos on it. Tertiary toiletries bag, which honestly all it has in there is dry shampoo at the moment. So that's not really doing anything. I only own three, four, now I own four pairs of shoes. No. Yeah, four pairs of shoes. And uh, so these are my tennis shoes. We're, we're already at the 10 minute mark. Let's, we're gonna these snap this up. These are my sandals. All right. And I have boots that I wear on the plane because they take up a lot of space with heels. There you go. And I now have hiking boots that I can't believe that I fit in here mm -hmm. in my bag <laughs> that we just recently got for our time in Brazil and Peru. I have a poncho from Peru. This is really stressing me out. I have a, um, Having everything I have a little bag here with all my main clothes. This is pants, shirts. Yeah, pants and shirts basically, some shorts. That goes there. Um, down in here, I have my hiking boots. They are stuffed with socks and underwear, clean socks and underwear. I'm, I don't get stinky feet, so for me, that's fine. Uh, it really saves space because these don't collapse down very well, but they do have giant holes in them where my feet would normally go, and therefore, clothes can. This is my packing cube that has my pants in it, which I only own two pairs of pants, two leggings, and um, then I have like four dresses in here, plus a sweater in here. Face so mask. not tons of clothes. Um, but some. My sandals enough. and an exfoliating brush. And that is the main GoPro bag of mine done. Mine too, empty. Nice, oh, I got something caught in here. This is another packing cube, but this carries all of my shirts and another sweater, so I have Probably about seven shirts, maybe a little more than seven in here um, with a sweater. This is my dirty clothes bag. It just has socks and underwear at the moment in it. I have my um, ultra down light jacket. And then loose in this bag are swimsuits and a few other do underclothing doodads with thick socks. Um, I don't have like a bag bag to put those in. First aid kit. Socks. Um, this carries random electronics and small tools that I sometimes need for things. I very rarely get into this bag, but as you can hear, it's pretty, it's, it's got stuff in it. Um, I kind of just, it's just stuff I kind of need every once in a while and don't want to try and find because they're kind of specialty stuff. This is the miracle pocket. I never could fit anything in my bag and somehow I fit these giant, recently, boots in my bag and was able to close it up. But like Josh has done and I don't like doing, but I did it just to it's save necessary. space, is put um, socks and underwear inside these mm -hmm. hiking boots in my bag. Plus, we have brand new ponchos that we had to get while we were in Peru and I think that they're really nice that I think I'll continue to carry it around because we've been in enough rain mm -hmm. where they would come in really good handy. Lastly is a quadriary toiletries bag. Uh, this has all my nighttime stuff in it, like oils and moisturizer and different things. A um, belt and a scrubby. That's all my stuff. That's everything I own. What about this pocket? Uh, that, those are my swimsuits. Oh, I just talked about those that. are pocket swimsuits. And uh, I have some shoes. These are my Vans. How many pairs of shoes do you own? These are my other pair of Vans. Two. We're not getting into shoes, really. Two. Okay, three. so... Two, I have two vans, two boots, one pair of sandals. That's five. That's more shoes than me. Um, inside these vans is more socks and underwear, I think. I think there's also some shorts or leggings in here. And that's it. That's it. I have a, a bag that I'm not using. That's it. That's everything in our bags after one year of travel. Let's, can we zoom out a little bit? Let's, let's just take a look here. It looks a lot nicer when they're all in your bag. Yeah. That's what I was saying. This is like stressing me out. I do not like having everything all strewn about. Well, you're going to repack it for after after we go out again in January. Yeah. I just have a lot of uh, laundry to do today, so I guess this helps. I can literally just take my packing cubes and throw them in the lock wash. Yeah. 
Okay, well that's Tidbit Tuesday for the day. We wanted to show you what was really in our bags. As I mentioned before, I do have a packing list, uh, or a packing guide, I should say, on how to do that, and that's attached to our weekly mailing list. Yeah. So if you want to get updates from us every week on what we're really doing in real time, not just the videos that are mm -hmm. coming out, you can sign up for that. There is a link in the description of every single video, as well as I will be linking it in the top comment of this video, uh, if you want to get updates from us, and or a free packing guide. Yeah. There you have it. Yeah. Uh, we're excited. We're, we are actually home for Christmas and um, we'll be spending time with family. But our videos are going to be in Brazil during the month of December and we have so many fun adventures to share with you guys. So stick around. Thanks for watching. I hope we encouraged you to get out and travel today. If you have anything that you think we should add to our bags, huh? let us know. <laughs> we're here for a Christmas time and we're, you know, getting some new items for the new year. So we'll, we'll share that with you a little later. But happy Tidbit Tuesday and we'll see you next time. Okay, bye. Bye. bye.